Other appointments by the president are that of Penny Akwenye, former chief executive officer of MCA in Namibia, who will be the policy advisor on implementation and monitoring. Etienne Maritz is the executive director in the president's private office, the position which was previously occupied by Ambassador Hinyangelwa Asheke. Maritz comes from the office of the prime minister, where he served as deputy permanent secretary responsible for public service management. Retired Cabinet Minister Philemon Malima is the new Director General of the Namibia Intelligence Service, replacing Lucas Hangula, who is going into retirement. Desiree Matthias, who will be advising the President on youth engagements, says her position is very critical. We need to have a voice for the youth so that we can give them the platforms to express themselves on the reforms that they want to see and also an opportunity for us to feedback on those um, interventions that are being put in place on their behalf. Mkwaita Shanyangana, who served as media advisor to the former president, Hifike Punyepamba, has been shifted to the office of the vice president. NBC's director general, Albertus Alhomob, takes over, but with a new title as press secretary or government spokesperson. He promised to be media friendly in terms of providing information. Of course, where there are things that we cannot confirm or otherwise, we will say so. But we will have to revert to the media at an appropriate time to share as much of the details um, to be able to uh, perform their function. Because that's why the media is often referred to as the third estate, because they are an important component. Aukhamob took over the NBC job in 2010 on a five-year term, which was coming to an end in August this year. He is credited for fast-tracking the implementation of digital migration, which made Namibia a regional leader in this area. The organization has a long way to go, but it is not about the person of me. It is about the collective of the leadership, the senior leadership team, and their direct reports that remain in place. And what they do with the organization going forward, that's going to be the most important uh, consideration. Meanwhile, President Gengob also revealed that former Deputy Minister of Health and Social Services, Petrina Haingura, will take up the vacant seat in the National Assembly as a non-voting member. Donatene Shidudu, NBC News, State House.